Hello viewers and welcome back to the Witcher adventure game. Unfortunately, uh, what had happened was that my my game crashed at the very end of the we're at the at the very end of our recording session. I was recording another one at about five minutes in. Um, my game locked up and unfortunately, just given the fact that there doesn't seem to be a way to save and the the nature of uh, recording programs, the file got corrupted and unfortunately that spe that puts us back on the menu here. Um, so with that said, I figured we'd uh, I, you know I still want to you guys more of this game but in this case what i figured we'd do is that we'd start up a new game i'll, I'll, I'll set it up so that we play for one more quest and we'll play as uh, tris marigold this time just to check out another character and another style of play really just simply given the fact that um yeah unfortunately that really really sucks i mean we did finish that main quest at the end of things too and what had happened was that yeah Geralt had to fight up uh fight one of these like the, the the main quest was actually pretty damn hard and Geralt took a lot of damage so i had to like rest him for multiple turns and yeah just bad things happened from there really um so anyhow Coming from there, it's rather unfortunate that I'm not able to show you guys that, but I guess we'll be able to uh, check out another different style of play, if you will, so I guess we'll just go with this instead. Anyhow, um, Tris Mirogold here has the choice between two of these quests. Um, defense contract, the sorcerer Horst Jensen has failed to supply the army with promised enchanted amulets and now risks e execution if someone does not aid him. Um, alternatively, we can do a riddle of steel. The gnome Marcel Schultz, whose wayward son, has run a fell of the underworld the indebted young gnome might be willing to sell his secret uh sell the secret of his father's steel if you can find him so we uh yeah we should be able to do both of these um last time as you may have noticed a lot of Geralt's quests focused heavily on combat and this time uh Tris Marigold's doesn't seem to be like that. It looks like hers focuses more on just simply gathering the um, the proofs that you need. As you as you may have noticed on Geralt's thing from last video, he had a whole bunch of combat related stuff. Uh, after finishing his main quest, you'd have to play a combat round. Um, you'd finish the quest either way, mind you. But uh, if you fail the combat round, you do take quite a few uh, substantial penalties. So um, I figured, yeah, both of these are actually worth the same. I think we'll do this one, the defense contract one, because the riddle of steel one you, you'd suffer two damage either way and well actually it doesn't matter this game only has a has one quest this match if you will only has one quest but i'll lock this one in nevertheless right so let's see what we can do um checking out tris marigold her special action is prepare um she can charge up one of our face spells to use and to fire off just like that she starts off at vizima and she starts off with six gold so quite a lot um as we have as we have noticed over here guilt starts out inside the very edge of the map so he had to he, he had to spend one point either way moving to ard kerg over here uh whereas tris has the option of being in the nice central area however despite that her quest is kind of far away so um starting off i'm going to use develop uh, action here and this is more or less because tris is based upon using these spells and hopefully i get the teleport spell because that one's actually really nice and let's see we can grab uh Let's see, we can grab a crystal ball object, which will allow us to draw quest cards. So we can choose uh, between three as opposed to two. Um, again, not really applicable for our match right here. So we'll grab the place of power card, which will allow us to, uh, let's see, we can charge it up, but it already has one charge, um, but it will allow us to use it in battle very, very nicely. So that's that. In that case, I figured we'd just advance really. Let's go to the side quest location and um, yeah, it's just simply go to Oxen for it. So yeah, again, nice central location. We can finish that right off, complete that side quest and instantly grab three points like that, but we'll have to fight a bandit. So let's see, Bandit, we have four rolls this time. So it's, uh, it's considerably less than what Geralt has. Um, what we can do is that we can we can put this here, we can defend nice and properly. But we can't necessarily hit this guy, so we so we won't be able to take back our cash. Yeah, because we lose one one uh, one coin at the start of the battle. If we win this battle, we gain it back, but in this case we can defend ourselves from not taking any damage, but we can't get that back, so that kinda sucks. But oh well. He grabs the quest, uh, we of Oxen Fruit. And he'll just do that. And ooh, he gets a keg. Uh, 
And that is his turn done. Moving on. Um, that's right. I should mention that the uh, the dwarf guy over here, Yerpin Zirin, he has um, he has the option of doing either combat related quests or diplomacy related quests. So yeah, he's um, he's 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 more so multifocal than say some of the other people right here. Right. So back onto our track in Oxenfurt. Let's go and let's hmm. Let's see, we need, uh, at the very least, we would need a whole bunch of the uh, the blue drops here. So let's just advance and let's gradually make our way into the area. There's two silver creatures there, that's that's not a good fight for me. So we'll have to avoid that area. Hmm. This is gonna be, this is gonna be weird. I could try to skip this area and go to our main quest location, but there's also two of them there. One silver here, one silver here. Yikes, there is just a ton of silver creatures all around the map. In that case, we might as well advance into this area. Grab one of these. And now with this place of power thing, we should be able to grab an extra an extra thing here. But I think I'll develop our cards again. Hopefully grab something that will allow us to... Uh, to defend ourselves nice and properly like that because we'll have to fight a silver creature nevertheless and these things are pretty pretty tough i've got to say so now hopefully uh, we'll be able to place one of these cards right so we'll have to roll we get uh, yeah at this point this is not going to be very good we can play both of these to get quite a bit of damage. Let's see. Hmm. Either way, we'll have to take a... Either way, we'll have to take a hit, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, so there's no real point in wasting that, um, that wall of flame just yet. We'll have to prepare a charge on and afterwards I think we'll be fine. So, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll be slightly delayed here. Oh, he also has to fight a silver creature. Yes, yeah, so that's actually not that bad. And back to our task. Right, so let's see. Can't travel. In this case, we might as well prepare and grab another uh, charge on Wall of Flame here. So that ought to help us out in the fight. In the meantime, we might as well just investigate, see what we find here, and oh, we were deceived. Roll your hero dice three times. Each time you do not um, suffer, spend one proof or lose one health. That is rather unfortunate. Yikes. That is... Oh, that's going to hit us for one, but um, can I use this instead? Once per battle, uh, no. Yeah, so that's going to rob us one point of that. I don't want to take any more damages right now, but luckily that finishes it off here. Ooh, have to roll again. I thought it would have been over the first time, but I mean, that's fair. Right, so let's see. We can choose either uh, an ill omen or a creature. I think we'll go with the ill thing right here. And this is going to place one creature here, one inside an adjacent region, so we'll stack that up. And end that turn just like that.
Right, there we go. Back onto our turn. I guess I'll have to rest. Grab this uh, fast travel thing. Clear that up. And now, let's see. Hmm. In this case, let's fast move. And let's go to Kier Morgan. For another one of these drops, this is going to play a bad Ulmen card, so this is going to lose some VP for some people, but that's fine. And now, let's fight the uh, the bronze creature here, so Band of Thieves, that's not too bad. And oh, it's going to be all damage based. So, so in that case, can I... No. Don't have too many options here. I could place... Uh, Two walls of flames. But nah, I think we'll have to take this uh, token instead. And we'll just place that on that. And end the turn just like that. Still better than fighting one of those bigger creatures though, mind you. Ah, and that despair comes into play, so just like that. I do, he has a uh, bodyguard. So let's see, during your turn, play this card and keep it. Ah, oh, damn, wasn't able to read that in time. But that thing's pretty neat. Let's see, whether a veteran has several wars, it looks like you just roll onto it. And depending on how well uh, you roll using that bodyguard, card you can re-roll your dice so that is neat and I, he has to fight this thing once again and yeah he's not gonna win so that's that's two serious wounds too so quite a lot Let's see. What should we do now? Hmm. I think I'll, um, I think I'll just investigate twice, and I'll see what uh, what I can do to grab some more blue. So this is going to allow us to get another one of these development cards. So, Knight of Study here, the Knight is still young, time to roll, your uh, to roll up your sleeves and hit the books, reveal five cards from the blue investigation deck, choose one card to resolve, then resolve one revealed setback card if able. Uh, secrets of the Lodge, extracting secrets out of witches is more difficult than pulling teeth out of a basilisk, even if those witches call themselves your friends, ro roll your dice, if you obtain success, receive one blue for each uh, Lodge Sorceress card you have, and what's your knowledge, uh, let's see, we can gain one blue, go to care, go to the tile that we are, and receive one red and remove all of our uh, damage from our hero. I think I'll take this instead. So this is, yeah, this is going to finish it off right away, which is quite nice. And in this case, I think we'll just, yeah, take the fact that we don't have any damage now and leave just like that. Finish off, uh, you know what, a band of thieves again. And I really hope we have enough damage for this. And yeah, yes we do. So there.
Hmm. Alright, so these two people are delayed quite considerably, which is pretty good. Right now, let's see. We still need another three... Uh, three blue to finish off things nice and properly. So in that case, uh, let's just go around the area and let's see what we can get. So there's uh, there's two silver, one silver here. We'll go inside this area, I guess. We'll pick up um, yeah another one of these shops. And now uh, we're going to have to fight quite a difficult creature. So I think I'll prepare a spell. And let's see. Okay. And right, I'm gonna buff this up, uh, this wall of flame, to plus three. And oh, would you look at that? We can spend a whole bunch of stuff to finish off the side objective, but that's not really worth it. Right, either way, we'll have to fight this troll. Um, really need defensive points here, so let's see. We get two attack. Uh, rather, let's see. Let's change one of these things into a defensive card. Um, let's do Wall of Flame. And, oh damn, we can only do Wall of Flame once per battle. That really sucks. In that case, yeah, we won't have enough defense. But that's the best that we can do, unfortunately. So that's going to knock out two of our actions. So let's knock out Develop and Prepare. And we'll just keep it like that. Right, back on our turn. Still need uh, just a few more points before we can finish off this uh, this quest nice and properly. Uh, in that case, we might as well move over here. Where there's a bronze enemy, so at least that won't be as challenging to fight. Grab another blue, do another one of these blue missions, and... Ooh, hey. She might be able to use this. No, we'll be able to use that. Ah, or actually, yes, we do have just enough to finish off this quest now which is quite nice so all we had to do is get inside that area or we'll get inside that uh quest area so that's not too bad um let's do this one let's do this mission just like that we'll try to fight the phantom here and no what we could do is uh we could use this spell place of power to convert uh one of these dices uh into into what we need here and if we if we kill off this phantom, we get plus one VP. Either way, I'm not probably not going to use this uh, place of power. Yeah, place of power thing, all too often. So I think we'll just knock that out. Grab an extra VP point, which will give us a bit of a buffer in the event that Dandelion decides to finish all of his quests. Ooh, Dandelion only has to get to uh, Novigrad to finish off his objective, and he has 5 VP right now, so we'll have to be careful about that. Let's see, what can we do? He's over here right now, uh, where he needs to get is over here. So in that case, uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to do this, we'll have to finish our quest way, way before him. So we'll just speed up right over here. And we'll just grab one thing. Either way, we'll have to draw a foul card. We'll have to suffer two of these things. And that'll be pretty much that. 
So put these things on ours. And either way, but what we can do is that we can finish this contract just like that. That's going to bump us up in VP. And now all we have to do is just hope that uh, Dandelion here is delayed long enough not to finish his quest. So I have to see what happens to him. Yeah, because currently he has five... Ah, he has to choose to fight somebody though, and he's taken a lot of damage, so either way he has to rest. And ooh, if he, if he takes damage here, he should lose VP. Yeah, so there we go, he lost five, or no, he lost four. So actually, I think that is pretty much game, uh, folks. Yeah, because he said back far enough that, uh, well, well, he used to have 5 VP, if he was able to move, he could have finished off, or he should have been able to finish off his quest, but in this case, yeah, the game has ended just like that. And, well, we came, uh, yeah, we came in first, obviously, because we finished the quest, nobody else did, so nobody else had, uh, quite a considerable point of, uh, or, you know, amount of victory points, and that is pretty much that. So, um, overall, very, very fun, uh, card or board game if you will virtual board game if you will ladies and gentlemen that is the witcher the adventure game so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this let's play slash let's try unfortunately my game did suffer that crash uh, in the beginning episode or you know following the beginning episode which is rather unfortunate but um that is pretty much just that so i um, hope you guys enjoyed the series and uh well be sure to stick around for more uh bye, -bye for now